in Springfield, Massachusetts. And hello, we're at a place called Oak Grove Cemetery. And this particular plot, like a lot of plots within this cemetery, was paid for by one whole group. Sometimes ethnic groups, sometimes religious groups, sometimes uh, veterans, fraternal groups. This is probably paid by the Grand Army Republic uh, Veterans Fraternal Group. And inside of here are people that uh, uh, were uh, veterans and they wanted to be buried along with other veterans. And so you also have a nice statue of a Union soldier, 1861 to 1865. They served their country. And in the back are mostly Civil War veterans, towards the front, World War II and World War I veterans mostly. And within the cemetery, are two Congressional Medal of Honor recipients, and I'm going to read what one, at least one of them did, a certain Charles Knight, who was born in Keene, New Hampshire, and died in Springfield in 1904. He fought in the Civil War. He's a Civil War Medal of Honor recipient, served in the Civil War as a corporal in Company I, 9th New Hampshire Volunteer Infantry. He was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his bravery during the Battle of the Crater in Petersburg, Virginia, on July 30th, 1864. The citation reads, in company with a sergeant, was the first to enter the exploded mine, exploded mine, was wounded but took several prisoners to the federal lines. His medal was issued on July 27th, 1896. Now, I'm, Pretty sure he's not buried in this section, but it's important to read off men like this who have won the Congressional Medal of Honor. They have done so much for their country. And also buried in this cemetery is a Luke Griswold, also a Congressional Medal of Honor winner. And he entered the Union Navy at Springfield, Massachusetts, and he was an ordinary seaman, is awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his action off Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. His citation served on board the USS Rhode Island, which was engaged in saving the lives of the officers and crew of the Monitor on the 30th of July, 1862. Participating in the hazardous rescue of officers and crew of the sinking Monitor, Richville, after rescuing several of the men, became separated in a heavy gale with other members of the cutter that had been set out from Rhode Island. They spent many hours in a small boat at the mercy of the weather and high seas until they finally picked up by a scooter 50 miles east of Cape Hatteras. So these are two of the brave men that had Congressional Medal of Honors buried in the cemetery. And I wish you'd visit this section because the whole section is devoted to very worthy veterans. Thank you very much.